Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to attempt to install a backup camera on a new camper. Um, it's supposed to be already pre-wired. I've already cracked the, um, the seal of this thing to see exactly what's in there. And there's a 12 volt wire in here to hook up my camera. And we're going to give it a try, see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at the camera we're going to attempt to install. It's made by a company called E-Rapida. Um, it's not a Furion. Looks like a Furion. But um, I refuse to pay the money to get a Furion just to see the back of my camper. And that's all it does. Um, here's the monitor. It has a suction cup back. Six foot of windshield, uh, 12 volt a cigarette lighter. The camera, when I first opened it, it only had a plug in. That plug in here plugs into this wire, which goes to the wires behind the camper. This red wire will connect to the green wire and the black wire will connect to the white wire on the back side of the camper. There's a lot of wire, so I would imagine they have to shove this in the hole where the other wires are and it should be fine. This camera comes with an antenna, has a gasket on the back of it here that will fit on the back of this and in the end we'll seal it up with silicone to keep any kind of water seepage or anything for getting in there but um camera had pretty good reviews on amazon and i am a big amazon shopper and i look at a lot of reviews so and i usually don't buy anything if the reviews are not very good so we're going to attempt to install this thing okay you see here that we've um taken a cap off of this thing and had the slone wire that we had to pull out and here's a cap that came off it's two screws holding it what we're finding out is the green wire is the hot wire and the white wire is the the ground so looks like we're gonna have to splice into this wire where they've already got it uh, spliced and it's been got a cap on it. We're gonna splice into that, pre-drill our holes for our new camera, and see what see what happens with it. Okay, I want to show you guys that the connection we made here. We connected this hot wire to the green, which is hot on the RV, and the black wire to the ground, which is white. And our connection here is no different than what the factory did here. But I just didn't want to um, break that factory connection just to make a connection for the camera here. So I came down further into the wire and just spliced it together back with the connectors. So we're going to try, before we stuff all this wire back in, we're going to try connecting the camera up and see whether or not we have any power. As you guys can see, we have success. Um, we do have a picture on the camera. Once we got power to it and tapped into those lines, I think that's all we need to do. Now I have the process of, of shoving all that wire back into the hole and mounting the camera onto the back of the RV. We'll come back to you and show you all that.
Okay, we've got this thing installed. At one little issue at the top part of this thing where I had the hole cut for the wiring, um, the hole was cut a bit too high for this camera with the antenna coming off the top. But I have no idea why they cut that hole so close to the light. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna um, silicone. All around this thing and seal it up pretty good. The camera's working well. Hey guys, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but uh, we do have a picture on our camera. So just gonna seal it up, be through. Be back. Everybody, it's not the prettiest job. But it'll work. As long as I can keep the water out, it's good. Please remember to like and subscribe.